Good morning, today's lesson is 10.3. Area of triangles. Our essential question, how can you find the area of triangles? Well, any parallelogram can be divided into two congruent triangles. That means equal triangles. The area of each triangle is half the area of a par parallelogram. So the area of a triangle is half the product of its base and its height. So area equals half base height, where B is the base and H is the height. So essentially, if I, if I have A squared, it is base times height. We did that yesterday, although we did it with parallelograms, okay? Base times, whoops label it right so we have height and base so when I multiply height times base then I get the area or you could say area equals base times height when you do a triangle you do the base times height and then you cut it in half because two triangles see how I've got one triangle there one triangle there so if I'm trying to find the area of a triangle it's half of the base times height so please remember that it's like taking a piece of paper that square cutting it across the middle and you have two triangles. So that's how you're going to remember that it's base times height, just like a rectangle, but that it's half of it. The Flarion Building in New York is well known for its unusual shape. The building was designed to fit the triangular plot of landform by 22nd Street, Broadway, and 5th Avenue. The diagram shows the dimensions of the triangular foundation of the building. What is the area of the triangle? So here's my base and here's my height. Okay, so remember it's base times height, and then you divide it by two, right? So the formula is area equals half base times height. So I'm gonna substitute, I have 190, right, for my base, and my height is 79. So I'm gonna multiply 190 times 79, and I'm gonna get 15,010. Then I've got one half times that, right? So essentially, I put my two under here. It's really dividing because one, because one times that is gonna be that, and then two times one is gonna be that. So I'm left with 15 over, or 15,010 over two, and 15,000 over 10 divided by two is 7,505. So the area of the triangle is 7,505. Example one, find the area of a triangle. So we're gonna write the formula. Again, that's area equals half base times height. So we're gonna substitute. So there's my base, four and a half, and my height is right there, right? So I've got half times the four and a half times the three and a half, okay? And so um, four and a half, whoops. First, oh, sorry, I removed it. Okay, the way we got this was we had to turn them into, you can't just multiply half times four and a half times three and a half. So remember a long, long time ago, we took this four and a half and we turned it into the, um, the, number, the improper fraction. So we, we do four times two, which is eight, plus the one, which is nine. So we get nine over two. And then over here, we do three times two, which is six, plus the one, which is four. Okay, so six plus one is seven, so we get seven over two. So that's where those numbers came in because we changed these mixed numbers into the improper fractions. Okay, now we can multiply. So we have um, nine times seven, which is 63. And then on the bottom, we have two times two times two, which is two times two is four, and four times two is eight, so that's why we get 63 over eight. Now we have to turn it back into its um, a uh, improper fraction, and eight can go into 63 seven times with seven left over, so we get seven and seven eighths, so the area of the triangle is seven and seven eighths. Okay, so Daniela is decorating a triangular pennant for her wall. The area of the pennant is 225 inches, and the base measures 30 inches. What is the height of the pennant? So this is kind of like yesterday where we had the area and we had the base, but we didn't have the height. So my base is here, my whole area is here. So this times this divided by two is this, right? So we're gonna substitute the 225 in for the A in my equation, right, in my formula. So I'm gonna put my 225 there, and I know the base is 30, so I'm gonna substitute that. So now I have 225 equals half times 30 
times x, or h. So now what we need to do is we need to isolate the variable, right? So if I look at this one right here, I've got, you know, 1 times 30 is 30. So this is now 30 over 2h, right? Sorry, there should be a 2. So, and then equals 225. So now 30 divided by 2, so now I've got 225 equals, and I've got 30 divided by 2, which is 15h. So that's what I'm going to have here. So now I have 15h, and so again, I want to isolate the variable. In order to do that, i got to get rid of this 15. Right here, I've got to get rid of this 15. And since this is multiplication, the opposite of that is division, right? So I'm going to divide both sides by 15, because whatever I do to the one side, I have to do the other side. So I'm going to divide this side by 15 and this side by 15, um, which makes my 15s cross out, and I'm left with just what h is on this side. And 225 divided by 15 is 15. So h equals 15. So let's find the area of a triangle. So again, our, our formula, you need to have this memorized. Area equals half base height. Area equals half, and then there's my base, which is 14, and then my height is 8. Okay, so I've substituted my numbers now. So 8 times 14, 8 times 14, um, 8 times 4 is 32. 8 times 1 is 8, plus 3 is 11, and then I'm going to divide that by 2, okay? 2 goes into 11 uh, 5 times, which gives me 10. Remember, I subtract, bring down my 1, I've got 2. 2 goes into um, 12 6 times, and it goes in evenly with nothing left over, so the answer is going to be 56 centimeters squared. Find the area of a triangle. It, or the area of this triangle is 132 inches. Find the height of the triangle. So now, remember my formula is, let me go down here, area equals 1 half base times height. So I know the area is 132, and there's my half. And I know my base is 22 inches, and my height I don't know, so 22h. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to... <clears throat> I'm going to multiply this across, so I get 20, whoops, I get 22h, and divide over there, equals 132. So now I'm going to divide, 22 goes in, or uh, 22 divided by 2 is 11, so I get 11h equals 132. I want to isolate my h, so I'm going to divide both sides by 11, and then I get, oops, can't really do that over here, so then I'm going to get h. E, um, and I get, I'm running out of room, so over here I'm just going to move this math problem over there. So I've got a, um, 132 divided by 11. 11 goes into 13 one time, and so put my 11 there. Subtract, I bring down my, um, I, 3 from 1 is 2, bring down my 2, 11 goes into 22 two times, 2 times 11 is 22, subtract, I get nothing, so my answer is 12, so h equals 12, so my answer should be 12 inches. Okay, the rest you're going to do on your own with a partner, or you can come to me for help. Good luck.